Okay. So, we'll start with the bubble diagram. So, the bubble diagram is basically a tool in planning. So, um, usually, um, the gamit ni siya for design studies and um, before we come up with a plan. So, basically, this is a tool in um, planning and designing. And usually, naani siya sa pre-design phase. So, the bubble diagram is a freehand diagram diagrammatic drawing made by architects and interior designers to be used for space <clears throat> planning and organization of the preliminary phase of the design process. So the bubble, um, the bubble diagram is important because later phases of the design process are based on them. So basically, <clears throat> these are just sketches. So it's not... Um, wala ni siya gi-require na scaled or dili ni siya ingon nga kanang perfect ang iyang mga um, illustrations. So, ang naaraani is ang thought of or ang idea na giunsa ninyo pag layout and giunsa ninyo pag hanay sa inyong areas. For example, on this um Nadri is to identify first the areas, no? So, like, for example, you have your work area, the break room, and you already have your, your um, shared spaces, offices, and the workstation. So, basically, this is an office setting, no? Bubble diagram. So, um, more than that, it's to, it's um, first step before planning is to prepare the bubble diagram. It is the bubble diagram na anak siya sa pre-design pre phase or the prelimi preliminary phase. So it is important to identify first the areas and um, the nature of the areas, the characteristics of it, and the requirements and to identify its access and adjacency to other areas. So um you need this no na mahan ay na ninyo ang inyong thoughts about this before um drafting the final plans kay para um maka save mo time and at the same time efficient ang inyong um um pag a lot sa spaces so um, what are the elements of a bubble diagram? So basically, a bubble diagram is composed of the program and the spaces and the function and spatial relationship. So program and spaces, it's commonly um, represented by the bubbles. You can, you can have it drawn um, through circles or ovals. So, and the function and spatial relationship, arrow. So um, actually there's no definite um, there's no definite symbols na panang require sa inyo, ha, to, to to represent an idea but Basically, ang no, or normally, um, ang spaces is represented by circles or ovals and the function or spatial relationship, like ang saan mo siya pag-connect from one space to another, is shown through an arrow or, or just the simple line. And so, the, the, so the program in um, spaces, so in in architecture and interior design, we begin with the program. So the program is a list that itemizes the spaces that must take place in the building. The program serves as an outline of the requirements of your building and describes spaces with assigned um, square footage and description of function, use, or activities. So basically, um, before coming up with a bubble diagram, you need to 
um, draw or need to come up first with a design program. So this is an example of the design program. So this is how it will look like. So um, as what you can see, no, there are you need. Um, sige na nako siyang inum at first. Pag pag pag, pag first palang nato we discuss, no. Even after, I mean, even before the um, discussion of our first topic, um, it, it is important to know, to identify the spaces that you want to put in your plan or in your project. So basically, na ano siya dari, ano siya di outline, I mean, even siya di list. Um, and you, you um, what do you call this? Even as siyang ihan ay so as to in ani siya o forma. So um, the lines are in 45 degrees. And you can also draw it on 30 degrees. It, it actually depends on you. As long as um, the space, um, I mean, there are... Um, sections na mo intersect ang duha ka spaces. So, kasi because that's where you could, you will put the relationship between the two spaces between them. So, as what you can see here, the entry in the waiting um, and actually need to put a legend on it. So, ang legendary is the dark, um, darker um circle Itong, I, mean, I feel that indicates direct and primary uh, primary adjacency so meaning kailangan sila natapan so for the um uh, for kanin circle na delicious shaded um it says here that um secondary adjacency lang siya so it's not it's not required, but it would be convenient if um, itapan mo siya. And for the third one, remote adjacency, dili siya, or mahimu na siyang dili dun sila mong itapan. Kaya wala man siya, wala man siya relevance, or wala siya, um, what you call this one, wala siya um, direct connection sa duha, uh, sa duha. so um i think one example of this is the entry and the kitchen so and also the waiting area and the receiving area and the um the staff toilets and the dining room so basically, um, mura na siya, this, uh, kung ano na siya, areas, nga dili siya need, nga itapad, dili siya, dili, mahimo na dyan siya, nga dili siya, kanang adjacent to each other. Okay? So this is, um, the design program. So when I say, you'll make a design program, you're gonna make in ani. Okay? Okay. Okay, so this is an example of a design programming in a residential setup. So, um, first, the bath is to identify the spaces. You have the living, dining, kitchen, master bedroom, bedroom, service area, toilet, and bath. And after that one, I had an e identify kung adjacent, kailangan ba siyang adjacent sila. Silang duha. So, with the living and dining, kailangan siya adjacent. Okay. Um, if you have, um, you know, if, if you want to, 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 uh, if, if you want access or if you want your visitors or if you want after watching or having um, leisure time, no? You want to eat now, so it, it's very comfortable. And it, if necessary, to, to put the dining, um, 
the oil is uh, living, so that's to give ease food, diba? And another example, the like dining and kitchen, so we need to situate this one as well, na tapad siya, okay? So, and all other air, all other areas as well, diba? So, the kitchen and the service area to the part, um, adjacent siya. Yeah. Also, the bedroom is um, adjacent to toilet and bath. The master bedroom and the toilet and bath adjacent to each other. So, the living area and the toilet and bath is um, adjacent to each other as well. Okay, if ever you, if you have um, visitors na, na who use actually this this is not just i mean um there's another space for um a that's what you call the powder room so basically dilim na siya inong jute na toilet and bath so you, um ang adjacent lang sa living area is the toilet and bath uh, i mean the powder room okay dilim na siya kailangan ang um, bath is adjacent to the living area because your visitors will not be um deliman sa tanong ni gayon if you have visitors maligo di ba so basically if 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 you have visitors maybe you can just um put powder area near sa living area okay so okay um and this is just an example actually um there's no concrete for android yeah you need, you need to put this one in the visual shop adjacent because actually as what i have discussed it before um the need of of putting spaces um na, easy access to one another is dependent na siya sa preference sa owner or your client. So if you, if you want, if, you're, if your client want to have the the living area adjusted to the service area, in na siya um, na siya activities na, na need kung inana. So basically, you, you, you'll, you'll find ways, di ba? So, actually, the design programming, wala dyan siya ingon na, na definite, um, um, I mean, there's no rule in design programming. Ang, um, the only rule on this one is to, is to know the, the needs of your client and translate it or, and translate the design in relevance to their needs. Okay? So, let's move on. So, Okay, so the bubble diagram, this is it. The bubble diagram is um, depicted here, you know. So this is an example of it. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna have this, the design program, if you're, if you're gonna formulate Okay. So, Let's let's continue. Okay. So um 
if you if you if we'll make a bubble diagram based on the design program that we have here this this is how it would look like so basically you, you have the spaces and the shy spaces not shy legend the legend here is um this is the functional this is what is what i'm talking about kanina na functional relationship so this are the areas the functional areas and this is the functional relationship niya so it it's usually um shown or it's usually represented by lines or arrows so so if you're if you're gonna make the bubble diagram um important key points lang niya is to have the areas any kind of like the living dining um, master bedroom in all other areas Dayun, um indicate the legend so it says here now kaning kaning small i mean close dashes when it's direct and primary ad ad um, adjacency so dapat adjacent na to each other and this one is the secondary adjacency so Basically, more on is ang inyong modific for ang uh, inyong mapakita for the, the bubble diagram. You can you can have it um, in different colors. No, there's no specific um, requirement so as to color and sizes. But basically, mas masindot if with the sizes, if you can already. I mean, if you can already show it, if if you want your living area to be bigger, so a lot a bigger circle or a bigger a uh, bigger shape for for that one. And if you if you're gonna have the dining area put um in in um smaller area or smaller size than the living, so you can also show it there. There's no there's no scale or there's there are no measurements on this one since this is just a diagram so the lip panisha scale and we can will all will all use the scale once um definitely on some plans for the final plans okay okay so this is just this one Okay, so um, this is important, you know, to to have your to have your bubble diagram shown or to have your bubble diagram already laid laid out. Okay, pwede na siya basis niyo for the form of or the shape of your plan. So. Um, I'll just I'm gonna show you a sample of how are you gonna make or how gonna how are you gonna formulate your plan. So, um, okay. So I'm still working on the whiteboard app. So basically, listen. Um, you can you can um, you can view it there. But but I'll try first for a while. Hmm. Okay, so um, did it show my share? So I'm just gonna move on with another slide na lang. Thank you. 
Okay. So the main purpose of a bubble diagram is to help you to translate the program into a strategy or a form. Right? So we already, if, if you already have your design program, what design program is any this your design program. So if you already have this one, you can trade you can translate it to this. Okay. So the main purpose of a bubble diagram is to help you to translate a program into a strategy or form. Bubble diagrams simplify this step by graphically depicting the program and allowing for quick expressions, multiple layouts, and revisions. So like the sitting chart does. Um, so like the sitting chart does with the wedding guest list, a bubble a bubble diagram illustrates the program. So basically, more more than more than a wedding guest list. So more than a usually you're gonna you're gonna a lot spaces or you're gonna a lot tables for your guests. No more na siya diyan na siya nakabutang. So basically, na 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 siya ang bubble diagram. Okay. So, um, I'm sending this also to you, you know, the vegetation symbols, because um, it will be helpful, uh, helpful Labina, for the um, pre-design cases, because we're, we're going to indicate in the site development plan this, the location of areas and all. So, you need also to indicate the vegetation or the plants and or the other site elements that you, you need to to put in the site development plan. So basically these are daghang variations. But the important thing in this is to if, if you're if you're putting a symbol on your plan, it is important to have a legend as well. So basically if, if you have the, the if you use this one so imo po na siyang ibutang sa sa other side ang legend na niya because there are different variations i i i think you're aware of that no okay we all have we all use um varied symbols but but the important thing Anna is to to put the, to put it in legend. Okay. So this will be our this um. So I'm gonna discuss the plate number two. So our plate number two is um bubble diagramming. So create a bubble diagram of the relevant relevance of areas and spaces of a two-story residential building with the following space requirements so this this is the space requirements i think it's already um, um i think i already gave this one to you so the living the area dining area kitchen master bedrooms bedrooms do have two units service quarters service area car court to vehicle entertainment area, balcony, alfresco, storage room, and pantry. And there is the toilet and bath for the master bedroom and, and common toilet and bath. And there is also the walk-in closet for the master bedroom. So basically, diba, when um when I discussed this one earlier, a bubble diet, you can only translate the bubble the, the bubble diagram if you have the design program so basically you need first to have this one before you can come up with a bubble diagram so basically duha ni siya pages and yung ihatag sa kuha first one is this and the second one is this okay so um use the legends that is shown here and the legends that is shown here as well so you can you can use other colors if you want um 
since this is since the design process or the pre-design process is 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 a merely sketching so basically ang kanisha is not i don't require you to to have this one na sukdun julin yung a sketch is just fine but this one you can you can siguro measure measure this one or on but i'm not giving you um kung, um dimension so kamuray bahala sa dimensions as long as ig ig pass ninyo sa ako uh, it's readable and it's um it's clear and dili siya murag muta kadaka okay so with the bubble diagram as well you can use any other colors you can also color the bub uh, the areas if you, if you like you can also color the, those for uh, for presentation so um it, it it really depends on you so basically um if if you want to have a creative bubble diagram you can you can search it online on how are you gonna um present it so basically the the thought of this one is just on sa onin you for present if ever you have clients no okay the you 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 want to present it first oh, i mean you want to present first your ideas to your clients it's not it's not that way so basically um this one is a creative um, um presentation lang. so um you can you can you can use any other colors as long as you have your legend and you you have your spaces here okay so um the vegetation symbols you may not use delete pa ninyo siya magamit here in the design programming magamit ninyo siya ninyo on the plate number three okay so that is for the plate number two so muna to siya ang plate number two Okay, for the plate number three, so um, ako na lang siyang isumpay, no? Because, um, kuan man siya, um, ang plate number three is in relevance rapod sa plate number two. So, you can't make the plate number three if wala my plate number two. So, plate number three, based on the elements and basic considerations of planning, develop a site development plan of plate number two, showing the circulation and solar orientation so um when when i meant by what i meant by this is um this one <clears throat> so this one so basically mo siya inyong himuon okay Muna siya inyong himuon for your plate number three. Okay. So basically, um, basic requirements niya, it's 250 square meters. So, um... Depende ninyo on your dimensions, basta ang total lot area is 250 square meters, okay? So the setbacks will be for the front, it's 3 meters. For the sides and the rear, it's, it's 2 meters. So what, with the basic requirements, this is just the minimum, huh? 250 square meters. You can always go above it. So, muna ni siya ang pinaka gamay. So, that's the minimum requirement. So, if, if you're gonna have a 300 square meter lot, it's, it's okay, it's fine. Basta ang 250 is the minimum. Okay? So, basically, muna ni siya ang inyong age of. So, you need to have the... the yeah. It's important here to put the north direction. 
So, wait lang. I'm just gonna ako lang siyang sa so, I'll I'll try to Actually, I can't open my whiteboard now. So I'm having a hard time. It's so wait now, let me um. Anyways, I'm just gonna hit down since I can't go on my good. kakuan sa kantabinet. So, basically, ako na lang siyang i-copy. Okay. So, basically, um, if you have the north here, north, south, north, south, East, West. So, North, East, South, West. North, North, South, East, West. Okay. So, basically, na 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 siya. You, you indicate, you indicate the, um, the prevailing winds. Diba? the north direction um actually if 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 you if you'll have the north direction here if you if if you're pointing the north direction here and so the south is over there north south east so east is here so this is the northeast so this is the amihan and north south east west so west is the habagat. So, if you're gonna have it one food lang, ang north is pointing upwards. So, this is the amihan getting adapted and this is the habagat. Dali. So, basically, kukunan siya inyo i- i- pakita sa inyo sa development plan. The areas, your vegetation. So, that's why I, I, I've sent you a sample of the vegetation symbols. For, uh, for your reference. So, um, the presentation, um, I think, um, na na may idea. 
So it's also, um, I mean, it's also important to indicate also the access. No? So basically, diligent is in any case since it's just a residential building. No? But if you want to have an other features, well, you can add features, some features like open areas and all. So you can also add. Um, but the important thing is the areas that I require you is there. Okay. So um, the scale for that one minimum length scale is um, one um, scale one is to one hundred. So that basically, you can also you can tweak it at at. Um, depende mas sa jun na sa inyong size, di ba? So, Ikuan lang siya. I, isakto lang siya sa um, band, long band paper. Okay? So, I think that's it. Um, what I meant here when I, for the circulation of the solar orientation, is um, the, kuan lang siya. The, the indications lang niya. So, um, if this is I actually ang north, we can also put, we can also have it this one, like this. Sorry. Like this. So, what I meant with the solar orientation is this one here. Can you ask ang sunrise? Asang sunset. So we need to indicate that one as well. The north direction and the prevailing winds. The Amihan and the Habagat. Okay? So mo na siya. Basically, that's the first step in planning. So before we'll go on with the details of this one. So we need also to, to develop the um, site development plan. Okay. So with the site development plan code, it's um, you're just gonna show the um, the bil building footprint. There's there's no need to to show the areas. This specific area, delete na siya need na shown in you. So, um, what I am just gonna require you is the building footprint. So, in ano yung siya, like for, like, ko ano siya, beer lang siya. You can have it hatched. So, pwede siya i hatch in you. Or you can have that one colored, depende sa inyong presentation. Okay, All right. So, actually, the site development plan you can also present it this way. You can color it. You can you can um, use any other medias, but as long as it is manually drafted. Okay. So, um, and after that, pass. You can submit it. Um, mungi hapon. Um, scan it, then submit. Uh, if if you're gonna scan it, katong sa inyo phone lang. You can you can um, if it's colored, then it would be better. But if if na ami, if nagamit mong colors, then color ang inyo submit kay. If the color mo din in black and white or then in kapoy lang effort na kayo mo. So, if color, if nag mixed media mo, mga presentation, so, might as well send a colored um, photo of it. Okay? So, um, I think that's it. So, it Anyways, if you if you have any other questions, you can drop a message to our chat group. And if if you need 
clarification school schedule another um meeting zoom meeting for that one as well if you have um na amoy erase no questions regarding the plates okay so the deadline i'll be posting the deadline for the two plates so probably um i'm just gonna schedule it but but for the plate number um for the plate number two um deadline for that will be on um october uh 14. so maybe a, a week after that so maybe that's our deadline for the plate number three okay so basically um october 21 so plate number two that then will be october 14 and the plate number three will be on october 21. actually th these plates are so simple already so uh, i don't find any problems you'll encounter in a, when it turns to drafting okay once you've already um once you've already um, organized your thoughts, it would be very easy for you. Okay? So I think that's it. If you still have um, difficulties um, accessing or um, viewing the files or the recorded files, um, please let me know so that we can work on it. And um, also... If you and if you have any other questions, um, don't hesitate to um ask through our group chat. Okay, I think that would be all. And thank you and enjoy the rest of the day.